1.8 left. No timeouts left for the Bulls. Myers triggers the inbounds pass. Who coach for the win? It's yours! This is the worst contract in NBA history. In the 1992 offseason, Scotty Pippen signed a 7-year contract extension worth $18 million. It spanned from 92 to 98. This period of his career had his most successful years, winning 5 NBA titles, being selected to 6 All-Star teams, 7 All-NBA teams, 7 All-NBA defensive team and winning an All-Star Game MVP. Despite all that, he never made more than $3.5 million in a season, securing a better contract on his last legs in the NBA. Why was this the case? Why did one of the greatest players of all time sign this measly contract? Well that's a complex question. It all started in the summer of 91. The Bulls had just won their first championship against the Showtime Lakers. Scotty had two years remaining on his contract but was eager to sign an extension. Matter of fact, contract talks started as far as last season. Why? Scotty was the Bulls sixth highest paid player despite being one of the organization's best and wasn't very fond of his current contract. In 87, he signed a 5 year deal that would give him a little less than 900 k a year. His problem stemmed with the last 2 years of the deal. They were team options that offered a small buyout provision, meaning the team had no obligations to pay him after the provision if anything had happened to him. The contract didn't provide Scotty with the financial security he needed. So he pushed for a new contract by lashing out at management, suggesting the Bulls trade him and participating in public outcry. It didn't work. It stalled the negotiations. But finally, on June 17, 1991, Scotty Pippen signed a 7 year $18 million extension. Initially, it looked great. The contract made him one of the highest paid players in the league, but he came soon to realize inflation is a fickle bitch. By 95, 89 other players were receiving a higher salary than him. Four players on his own team were making more than him. This got worse and worse as he got deeper into the contract. In Kevin Garnett's second year in the league, he signed a $126 million deal for 6 years while Scotty had just won his 5th championship, being one of the top 15 players in the league but being paid less than a player like Luke Longley who averaged 7 points for his career. Scotty knew he was being grossly underpaid. So he tried to force himself into a new contract and he got real creative with it. One of the things he did was complain to the media that $18 million wasn't enough and the Bulls were shackling him down financially. What he wanted was the Bulls to void his contract and discuss a new deal. And that is when Bulls owner Jerry Reinsdorf told us the story of how in 91, he told Scotty he would regret signing this contract and that there would be no chance he would renegotiate a new deal. That didn't stop Scotty from signing. He wanted the security because of his back surgery and feared more serious injuries were on his way. For the most part, they weren't. And with the lead cap spike, his tantrums, whining, and unprofessionalism started. He was adamant on souring the relationship between him and the front office so he could renegotiate a new deal with a new team. This was attempted through trade demands, 
threatening the Bulls he'd sit out the entire season, opting to get surgery later in the season to miss games, and suggesting he's ready to play for any other team than the Bulls. Pippen's tenure with the Bulls is a complicated mix. He was visibly unhappy, but indirectly helped management build and sustain one of the greatest dynasties in sports with the money he had left on the table. His rings has slightly masked his shady tenure with the Bulls, but he should be remembered as an athletic genius who showed spats of uncooperativeness and immaturity. And don't worry guys, Pippen did eventually get his payday in a sign and trade deal to the Houston Rockets for $67.2 million for 5 years. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to tune in next week for a new video. And don't forget to subscribe, it really helps. And turn post notifications on so you guys can watch the content as soon as it drops. This is Earn Your Ranks where we only talk about ball. Signing off.